All right, it's time to talk Vegas Entertainment. John Castlemedes is here from the Review Journal. He's got a podcast called Cats. Podcasts. Pod Sorry, <laughs> so many cats involved. Podcasts is the podcast. <laughs> cats is the column. John Cats is the individual. There you go. And there you've go. been very busy. Oh, We've yeah. talked about a Tomic Saloon opening mm -hmm. over at the Venetian Palazzo, and uh, you were saying it's opening uh, tonight, right? Yeah, tonight is the formal opening of it, and they issued a statement yesterday that they've uh, set a company record for advanced ticket sales in that show, mm -hmm. uh, including Absinthe. Uh, which they are producers of Spiegel World. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to see, uh, it's, it's formally opening finally tonight. I've already seen the show four times because that's how I live, okay. including at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. It's very, it's, I say it's blazing saddles without <laughs> the racist humor, but with acrobatics. That's the vibe. Cool. And it's a great cast and a great company. It's going to do good in that space, I too. I think so, yeah. 230 uh, people in the old act space at the Grand Canal Shop. Right. Seats 230, and it'll, it burns up. It's like a saloon. All right. Hey, listen, it's officially Music Festival Weekend in Las Vegas. Yes. It, do they plan for all these festivals to be at once? We've got Life is Beautiful and iHeart. It used to be iHeart was a week before Life is Beautiful, and uh, about three years ago they moved it to, mm -hmm. to the same weekend. So it wasn't originally planned that way, but right. they both have prospered, I will say that. Life is Beautiful Downtown, which is an arts and a music festival with uh, and comedy now. Mm -hmm. And uh, iHeartRadio, which is a traditional arena festival over two nights at T-Mobile Arena. They have their own audiences and never the twain shall meet unless you're John Katz and he goes to both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, iHeartRadio. The one thing about iHeartRadio is they're bringing Green Day back. And Green Day, Ooh. if you remember in 2013, that's when Billy Joe Armstrong had I his was there. Event event that night and it was wild rock and roll yeah <laughs> he wound that up was in rehab after that he, he tore up the stage because he was upset about the time of the that they were allotted to, to perform before um uh after usher and uh that was a, a crazy night but anyway it's always a, a stacked lineup it will be again this year and um and you know people like def leppard are involved in the show mm -hmm. backstreet boys from the from residencies here in las vegas all across the board so it's going to be great and life is beautiful um let's chat about that real quick i uh, love how it just keeps plugging away and i love how they incorporate las vegas in a lot of things i was talking uh, yesterday with melinda shekels about how blue man mm -hmm. you know and, and cirque they, they they're opening it this year yeah we've had in the past we've had uh, sets by uh, the killers and imagine dragons out at, at uh, life is beautiful I'm, uh, I'm excited to see the Black Keys, a band mm -hmm. they haven't toured or done any live shows in about five years. There's, um, they're going to be great. Uh, Billie Eilish, I uh, have not uh, seen her before. There's a mm -hmm. lot of vibe about her. Uh, Post Malone has the number one album in the country right now. He'll be out there. Um, so, and, and, a, and a really cool comedy lineup with Fred Armisen and Nikki Glaser, too, who um, I'm a big fan of uh, yeah. in their uh, downtown, um, the Kicker comedy series, they call it. Okay, and that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Sunday. so it'll be mm -hmm. busy uh, downtown, of course. All right, let's talk about this. Kelly Clarkson show kicked off um, recently here on Channel 13. We get these clips, and I thought, hey, look who it is. It's Emily England and her brother Billy on the show. Uh, pretty cool to see them there. They are a brother-sister duo. And and they are in Absinthe, Las Vegas, and it's pretty cool because Kelly watched them perform, and then here's what she had to say. Let's watch this clip. Your head was so close to the ground. <laughs> oh my I am God. sweating in places I've never sweated. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pretty pretty <laughs> unbelievable. She sweat, and then Paula Abdul was there too. So yeah. it was a whole big Vegas thing. But uh, that's Emily about that's about what the response that uh, the, the the judges on America's Got Talent had when they when Billy and, and Emily were on that. They were finalists. There. Simon Cowell was blown away by them. Mm -hmm. So they were they were they've been they've been involved in, in uh, national TV before, and they're still in absent. And boy, it's it's a it's it's, it's the act in uh, that in absent that you routinely gets a standing ovation. One of the one of the many acts that gets a great applause. But yeah, you look at that. They're brother and sister. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's Cal. Um, yeah, it's it pretty speaks incredible. For itself. That's, <laughs> That's uh, Spiegel World in action there, and they're they're great people. They're really fun to to work with too. They're they're uh, British. And they're funny and they're fun and they're always pushing the uh, pushing the envelope. And they're still doing seven nights a week, right? Yeah, the, the show's doing seven nights a week, two sh uh, two shows per night, and they toggle in another uh, skating act to spell Billy and uh, Emily because they don't do every single show, but sure. they do most of them. Okay, and real quick, got about thirty seconds. Let's talk about your podcasts this week. You were talking to who? Podcasts is the first of two parts with the, the amazing Jonathan. Oh, yeah, and he's the subject of two documentaries, one on Hulu and one on YouTube. And uh, I've, I've seen the one on Hulu, and, and at the center of the Hulu one is the, the possibility that he has faked his own grave 
uh, heart diagnosis. Mm -hmm. You know, f about five years ago, he said he had a year to live and he continues to live. We talked about that and talked about his penchant for pranks. He's been a practical joker his entire career, his entire life. Mm -hmm. Very interesting conversation with, uh, with AJ. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, part one now and part two Monday. Okay, sounds good. Thanks so much, Katz, as always. And oh, if you want to see uh, Emily and Billy on Kelly Clarkson show, that's today at Watch 2 o'clock. Yes, stay with us. We are back after this.